almost finished, one more to go. Well, that's, uh, that's uh, three sides of the pentagon. Uh, then I need to make six, uh, two sizes of the pentagon, whereas the hexagons are half, half, half. Uh, here I can cover uh, three uh, parts in one uh, go with one sheet of foil and then another two parts for the entire pentagon. Um, the corners I made now are much cleaner. So um, with the overshoot and then cut straight, cut flush with, uh, uh, with the table saw. So this is uh, very clean and neat. Um, also I have the impression that uh, in assembling one of those pentagons that I have uh, uh, much, uh, much more equal uh, strut lengths. Um, the hexagons should be fine now too, but I almost all uh, disassembled them again and reassembled with a new vise, a new screw in a different spot. Um, so this should be fine too now, but it took me a lot of uh, extra work. So uh, uh, cutting only one side and then uh, having the beams overshoot at the other angle and then cutting flush was a much better uh, way of working. Once the hexagons and the pentagons ready, um, I made sure to heat up my workspace um, in order to have the polyethylene a little bit uh, uh, softer and more stretchy. Um, and then I cut uh, polyethylene uh, sheets uh, to, to the size of my uh, uh, half hexagons and um, pentagon parts. And then it is important to work from side to side. Um, first uh, stapling the corners, uh, then the corner on the other side, and then uh, stretching, stretching the foil uh, in between every uh, stapling action. Um, so you see me working around here. Um, I, I used two, uh, two covering materials, a matte and a more transparent uh, polyethylene. It is uh, agricultural quality, um, 200 mil polyethylene, so uh, it, it is uh, guaranteed for at least six years uh, UV resistance. I hope to get some more years out of it. Um, make sure to, uh, to work uh, the covers, uh, the corners well, uh, to, to uh, staple them tight and uh, snugly fitting because you need to assemble all this afterwards. I have put uh, double-sided foam tape in between the different parts to, uh, to um, enhance the uh, um, water tightness. In these two last pictures you see a hexagon with a cut-out window, so uh, that needs an extra triangle. It has some hinges on top and then the point uh, is pointing downwards and is flipping upward when uh, opening. Um, I covered the, uh, uh, the entire hexagon and then I cut out one um, triangle, uh, flipped over the, uh, the polyethylene so the inside of the uh, hole is also covered. See you soon for the next part. Uh, next part will be uh, the final assembly of the um, uh, dome. So uh, uh, quite a quite a stressful moment, but uh, everything went quite as planned. See you soon. Bye bye.